everyone, it's Tina. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a simple technique to show you on how to flatten your die cutting plates. I have a Gemini Junior and sadly <laughs> my plates get very warped. Um, I have received a lot of questions. How do you fix this? And it can be quite costly to buy replacement plates. So I'm going to show you a simple technique. I've tried it before and it works. Here's a a die cutting plate that I have and as you can see it's seriously warped um, even alternating and flipping it and doing all kinds of things it still did get warped so the simple technique is to place it in um, a tray of boiling water you put something heavy on top you let it dry completely and your plate is good as new okay so I'm pouring my boiling water and it has to be boiling water you can't use just regular tap water so I'm pouring in the water. I'm placing my, my, my die cutting plate in it like this. I'm placing it inside the water. And I place something heavy on top. And as you can see, it's already starting to flatten. I'm going to pour more water because it's not completely covered. And really it just needs to stay there for about a minute and then just let, let it dry on a flat surface. When it's completely dry, you'll be able to use the plate like it was brand new. So my plate is dried and as you can see, it is significantly flattened. Um, I could have probably just done the process one more time to get out. Um, there's still a little slight curve, but it's much better than what it was. One thing I do want to note though, is that when you are doing uh, the boiling water technique, you do need to flatten your plate um, with something heavy on top and make sure that you have no air pockets underneath because I find that sometimes when you have the air pocket it can leave still a slight bump but like I said the plate is much better and I'm able to reuse it all over again. So for the next part of my video um, for some reason I kept calling the magnetic shim a metallic shim and instead of doing the whole segment all over again I will just um, at the bottom of the screen I will put magnetic shim every time I say metallic shim. So I'm sorry about that. So now what I want to do is um, I'm going to try a technique that Jennifer McGuire did uh, a few months back. My metallic sh shim is completely destroyed. I'm not happy. Like it's, it's torn in several places. It's seriously warped. They used to have a different metallic shim and I was very happy with it, never had an issue. But this one, as you can see, it, it, it really didn't hold up and it's only a few months old. What I want to do is I want to tape a new one to my cutting plate. And so I've already cut it. Um, I took a little bit less off than Jennifer. She took off about one one quarter of an inch on each sides and I took about one eight. I've already cut some tape and I'm just using regular uh, shipping tape. It's uh, what you use to seal your boxes when you're sending stuff by the mail. So I'm adhering it and you don't need to go edge to edge. Just wanna make sure that it's pretty much centered before I go to the other corner. I'm going to do the other side. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adhere the plastic shim. 
Now on this one, um, I, I do have a little bit of warping also on my plastic shim. So when I put the, my tape down, I'm definitely going to tighten it flush to the edge. Sorry about the noise. So my first one, I'm going really tight. As you can see, as, as I do that, like it's popping up. But when I put this tape down, um, everything's going to be okay. So I'm putting it carefully over here, taking it and I'm really pressing down hard. And already I can see like it's flattening. there you go. So before anything, I will take my bone folder and I'll just smooth out all the edges. I would like to state though that this is not the sandwich that uh, Gemini um, recommends, but Jennifer has said that she tried it for several months and has had no issues. And there are others out there also that use the same um, method and they have had no issues. This is, you try it at your own risk. I'm trying it out because I am quite fed up of having warped cutting plates as well as the metallic shim. So I'm going to test run it and I'll be right back. I have my clear cutting plate. I'm putting my die face up. I'm putting my cardstock down and I'm putting my my assembled new plate. I'm going to pass it through the machine and I'll come right back. And as you can see, it die cut very well. And look at that. It's a very in intricate die and a die cut on the first pass and I don't didn't have to use um, the metal shim. And uh, what I like about this new setup is that I don't have to worry about layering each piece and making sure it's aligned before I put it in the die cut machine. I have a feeling I'm going to like this setup and it's supposed to really help uh, extend the life of both your cutting plate, your metallic shim, and probably even your plastic shim. So I hope today's video was very helpful. First of all, um, how to flatten your, your cutting plates and at the same time, protecting the rest of your shims um, to extend the life of it. Again, this part um, is totally at your own risk. It is not the recommended sandwich, but I've tried it and I have a feeling that it's going to last me a lot longer and anything that lasts longer and saves money is, is a good thing. If you like this video, hit on the subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell to be notified when I have a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you again soon in another video.